This is another video for hex gadgets. This is going to be on touching off tools on the Fogor 8025T control. Op mode 5. First thing we need to do is home the machine. Now my machine has homing switches so in that case all I have to do is say Z above F1 home comes up I say home cycle start it finds Z0 that's for the entire slide similarly X home cycle start All right, now the table is homed now in the previous programming example you were going to use a cutoff tool and that was going to be tool 3.3 Okay, tool setting is a lot easier with a hand wheel. I'll try to do it with just the jog. I'm going to put the cutoff tool in a position where in the z-axis it's as close as I want to be to the spindle and in the x-axis it is touching the stock. So I'm going to use the jog buttons to go in small increments Turning the jog down to that's ten thousandths of an inch each press of the button. And that's about as far as I dare. I'm going to turn the spindle on. I'm going to go in the X direction now until I barely see this point of the tool touch the stock. One quick point. My x-axis is reversed in direction, so you'll be hitting the x plus button instead of the x minus like I am. See, the tool is barely touching the stock. At this point, the x is negative 250, the z is negative 300 thousandths. Okay, at this point, my cutoff tool is where I want it, both in X and Z, and I'm going to touch it off. So I'm going to first start out by calling out the tool. Tool 3.3 .3 cycle start. As you notice, the X and Z values are nowhere near where we want them. So now, on the Fogor control, you have to call tool measurement, tell the control where it is on that axis, and then tell it when you're at that place. So I'm going to say tool measure, tool measurement flashes. I'm going to say x minus 0 0.300, enter, x load. All right, I did that wrong. It's, it's quarter inch stock. X minus 0 0.250, enter. X load is F2. Okay, I corrected my mistake. Z is negative 300. Z minus 0 0.300, enter. Z load. Here's another little trick. I'm going to back off the x-axis just a little bit so it's off the bar. I'm going to go to Z0. Now that cutoff is 93 thousandths wide. Now the back of the cutoff is on Z0 for the entire part. Now tool 3.3 .3 is at position Z positive 0 0.093. The back of the tool is Z0 for the rest of the part. So if I turn the spindle on,
and face this off using the back of the cutoff. That point of the brass is Z0 for every other tool.